Hey, what's up y'all? How y'all doing today? I hope you're all having a great, blessed day. Um, today I wanted to make a video about something I struggled with for a very long time, and that was getting fat. Just kidding, no, putting on weight. Um, I was always very, very thin, very, very skinny uh, growing up. And then even now, I mean, I'm not that big necessarily, but I definitely have managed to put on a little bit of weight. Um, it took a long time, and I kind of want to give you just like, examples how I think you should go about it and there's actually a good way of doing it and there's a wrong way of doing it and I kind of experience both now and I feel like I am at a point in my life where I can actually kind of um, give good advice on this so just a little background uh, on me and why I think I was so skinny growing up it's because one I didn't really like to eat that much I was always playing video games you know, parents would be like, dinner's ready, and I'm like, oh, I don't want it. I just want to keep playing video games. So I never would never eat, you know. That's that's number one. Uh, <laughs> for another example, my mom, and hope she never sees this, and hopefully she never finds out about this, but she used to pack me lunches for school, right? Like, like ham and cheese sandwiches or whatever, and put it in a brown paper bag, and I would take it to school with me, to high school or whatever. And for whatever reason, I just was embarrassed to eat it. I was like, I don't want to be that kid who eats, you know, ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch that, you know, he brought home from, uh, brought to school from, from home or whatever. So that I would always just leave it in my locker. And <laughs> at the end of the school year, I swear, there must have been like 10, 15, 20 bags <laughs> of very, very moldy, old, rotten ham and cheese sandwiches that I had left in there. Uh, sorry, mom. Sorry about that. But anyways, uh, uh, and then after high school, I kind of you know started dwelling into drugs and smoking cigarettes, and that you know, automatically that's kind of for me at least. And everybody's different. Uh, everybody's body type is definitely different. But for me, that definitely did not help with me putting on weight. Um, it actually did the complete opposite, and it made me you know be very skinny and very malnutrition for a very long time so um, first thing I want to talk about is if you are trying to put on weight because let's say and I'm, I'm kind of tailoring this video more for guys you know who are skinnier guys who you know just are tired of being tiny tired of being like called skin and bones and stuff like that there is hope I promise you even if you are a quote-unquote hard gainer you can still put on weight um, Maybe not as easy or as fast, but trust me, it, it can be done and it just takes time. So, now if you are going to put on weight, I suggest you do it the correct way. You know, there's, there's two ways of doing it. and I mean, I, I guess they're both correct. I just think for me personally, one way was not good for me. And when I finally, you know, decided like, okay, this is it. I'm going to, you know, sit down, get serious and buckle down and try to put on weight. What I would do um, is just eat a bunch of carbs, like a ton of carbs. I thought, you know, I watched a movie called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and there was a scene in that movie where he's talking to Ramona Flowers or whatever, and they're talking about eating bread, and she's like, bread makes you fat. And he's like, bread makes you fat? <laughs> he spits out the bread. Well, bread does make you fat. You know, it's carbs, and carbs eventually turn into sugars or the other way around. It, anyways, it all turns into fat eventually at one point. It's not easy to burn off and it just accumulates. So while yes, I was trying to put on weight and I was putting on weight, but I guess I wanted the weight you know, to be like uniform weight. I was all just building in my belly, not, you know, all, uh, you know, everywhere I wanted to be, mostly just in my belly. Uh, so yeah, I put on a little bit of weight, but it didn't look good. You know, I just kind of looked like I had a big old beer belly. Um, the number one thing I want to suggest though is that if you are being very serious about trying to put on weight, you have to live a healthy lifestyle. That means um, no smoking cigarettes, for sure. Like if you smoke cigarettes, it's going to be very hard. Uh, 
Like I said, everybody's different. I know people who smoke cigarettes who, you know, have a lot of mass on them. I don't, you know, that's genetics, you know. But for me, smoking cigarettes, even now, if, you know, if I were to smoke cigarettes, I would just start dropping weight easily. Because one, it's suppressive, so it makes you so you're not so hungry. Uh, and two, I think it has something to do with, you know, the flow of your blood and oxygen now circulating through your body, you know, naturally, so nutrients can't really get to where they need to go. So, uh, with that being said, you just lose weight. So, one, you know, live a healthy lifestyle, do not smoke cigarettes. Two, is get sleep. You need sleep, because usually that's when you grow. You grow when you sleep. Um, so if you're not sleeping, you're probably not gonna put on weight. Um, so th those two for sure. Then if you're trying to put on weight, you know, uniformly, you have to work out. That's like, it's almost like you have to. If you really want to put on a lot of weight, you have to work out. There's there's just no way around it. At least I don't think there is. I've been working out this entire time since I tried to put on weight. I think I was like 115 pounds when I first started in 2012. It's now 2020, so it's been eight years, and uh, I now weigh about 165 pounds. So I put on about 50 pounds in eight years. Um, looks good, you know, it's uniform. I almost have a six pack again, and I weigh 50, 50 more pounds than I used to. So, you know, I think that's what I'm trying to say is by doing the, doing it the correct way, is by, you know, not just getting. A beer belly like actually making it so you know the weight comes in uniformly um, but yeah so those two things for sure um, don't smoke cigarettes don't do drugs that will instantly kill any any of your gains you know sleep because that's that's when you uh, basically you know rebuild your muscles when you're working out it's like you won't grow unless you're sleeping so get plenty of sleep, even naps. I feel like that's when I noticed right away. I was like, oh, this is what I've been missing this whole time. It's just taking naps, you know. It, it, it helps, I don't know what it is, but sleep, right? Three, work out, you have to work out, you know. Try to do heavy lifting. Try not to do like big, like lots of volume. They'll get you toned, but it's not really gonna put on that mass. So try to do like super heavy lifting. There's three compound, um, exercises that everybody should do, especially if you're like a smaller, thinner guy. And right away, you're gonna start putting on weight pretty fast if you follow these, these things. Like right away, even if you're a hard gainer, you're gonna put on like probably five pounds almost instantly. If you're a really skinny guy and you're like skin and bones. Uh, but yeah, those three exercises, chest press, very heavy chest press, you know? Big, big muscles right here. You know, you grow this muscle, you're gonna put on weight. Chest press not only does the chest, but also does your tricep. So do heavy, heavy of that, you're, you're good to go. Um, squats. Squats build your legs. Just, that's probably the biggest muscles you have, right? Your legs, big old quads. It's gonna grow your quads and it's gonna grow your buttocks. So heavy uh, squats, but just make sure you're doing it correctly. Don't hurt yourself. Um, and then deadlifts. Deadlifts are amazing too. Just go heavy on deadlifts. Those three compound muscles, and they're called compound muscles because you utilize more than just one muscle. So you com compound a few muscles together, right? Um, yeah, so there's that. And then that's like the first half of it. The second half comes with diet. Uh, I guess you consider smoking and not doing drugs part of your diet, but not necessarily. Let's talk about nutrition. Um, you want to stop eating right away. Stop eating like fast food, like McDonald's, uh, Burger King, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr. List goes on and on. Stop eating that crap. Like, yeah, it might help you put on weight, especially at first if you're a hard gainer. But if you're trying to like put on like a lot of good weight, then you got to stop eating that stuff. You got to like really eat nutritional food. So when I say that, I'm talking about like like protein rich nutrients right protein and good carbohydrates but mostly protein but definitely carbohydrates too so you want rice chicken broccoli carrots steak um, sweet potatoes and that's 
well fish you know anything has like lean protein even some fats are good too like guacamole um, peanut butter you know all this stuff may not be as tasty as McDonald's or Burger King or whatever else you're trying to eat but I'm telling you if you as soon as you start you know putting in this into your body and not all this trans fat and deep fried food and stuff you're gonna blow up like you're just gonna you're just gonna build muscle like that's what happened to me and that's like the number one thing I noticed as soon as I started sleeping right and as soon as I started starting eating correctly like the weight just started piling on uh, another thing I do recommend and it's not necessarily a necessity but you know, drink protein like whey protein it won't hurt you know take um, one protein shake a day don't skip out on breakfast either. So, I know I'm all over the place, I'm thro throwing a lot of information at you guys, but okay, so I'm just gonna do a little rundown, right? Don't do drugs, don't smoke cigarettes, get plenty of sleep, um, like take naps, you have to do it, or do at least eight hours of sleep, or seven, but get, get some good rest, like good quality sleep, right? Uh, third, exercise, you gotta exercise. If you're not lifting heavy, you're not gonna put on muscle. If you're not putting on muscle, you know, I put on weight, and if you're just eating a bunch of carbs, nothing, uh, or sorry, a bunch of carbs and not working out, you know, it's just all gonna be belly weight. And that's you, you can put on weight that way. I'm telling you, you're probably not gonna like it. It happened to me, but you know, I had to lose all that belly fat afterwards. So that's those three, and then fourth is actual nutrition. Stop eating junk food. Uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to eat it every here, you know, here and there, but almost every day you gotta just try to eat as clean as you can. Talk about rice. And I know it sounds like it's going to just be horrible to eat it all the time. But if you go to places and make your food correctly, uh, like Chipotle, Chipotle is, you know, fantastic. It's great tasting food. You can't, you can't almost eat any better than that. It's just rice, you know, your proteins, you got lettuce, a little bit of cheese. cheese it, dairy is supposed to be not that good for you, but it, it's not too bad, I don't think. And some salsa, mmm, tasty, right? That's all you need. Um, Another thing is like don't skip breakfast. So in the morning, eat your eggs, um, oatmeal, fantastic. So maybe later on I'll do like a rundown video of like what you should be eating all day. But for the basics, you know, this is a good place to start. So if you are skinny and you're skin and bones and you want to put on weight, I'm telling you, listen to what I just told you and you're going to put on weight. Like, or your money back guaranteed. Even though you didn't pay, I'll give you your money back. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my short little video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, complaints, post it all you know in the comment section below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. Don't matter. Share with your friends, share with your grandma, share with your neighbors, and also add me on Instagram at Yoshi Bear Fit. You see, you know a little bit more of my lifestyle and what I do on there. And I do have a podcast. I post once about about once a week podcast it's uh it's just bear with me just bear with me podcast as of right now i only have it on apple but you can find it on there eventually i'll get it on spotify just haven't got to it yet so yeah anyways hope you guys can put on some gains and uh see you guys next time